In China, the 40 kilometer trip from home to the airport takes eight minutes. But only if you ride the Shanghai Maglev at 430 kilometers per hour. This train is currently the fastest passenger train in the world, and it's in China. High-speed rail hasn't been zipping across China for long, only a decade in fact. The trains originated in Japan in 1964. Then the whole world was on board with the benefits of high-speed rail technology. In 2006, China implemented its 15-year scientific and technological development plan and paved the way for advanced technologies like high-speed trains. Since then, China's broken many records on the railways. Annual Chinese rail ridership peaked at over 1.44 billion people in 2016. The highest railway in the world is Qingzhang. It travels through the Tangula Pass, 5,072 meters above sea level. This is the world's highest point of travel with a train. But it hasn't all been smooth sailing or smooth railing in this case. In July 2011, two high-speed trains traveling on the Yongtaiwen railway line collided, raising safety concerns with high-speed rail technology. So why is China still invested in high-speed rail? Well, high-speed rail can help boost economies. There are over 2,000 high-speed train hubs connecting almost every large city in China with a rail network that covers 22,000 kilometers. If you combine all of the railway lines in China, it would loop around the world twice. But the international high-speed rail race continues, and China is developing new record-breaking high-speed trains, one that could go as fast as 600 kilometers per hour. That means you may soon be able to make that trip to the airport in less time than it takes to book a plane ticket, or get dressed, or make toast, or make your bed, or boil water, or pack your bags. Liu Xing, Yu Kuai, bon voyage. <laughs>